Polling is underway in Kenya's closely contested presidential election. Citizens lined up outside the polling booths to cast their votes. More than 22 million people have registered themselves to cast votes in today's elections. Kenya's election is taking place amid soaring food and fuel prices. And to make matters worse, a drought has left millions hungry. Some Kenyans are hopeful for a peaceful transition of power. This comes after spending nearly 10 years under President Uhuru Kenyatta. While some others are concerned about vote rigging, Kenya has previously witnessed election disputes descend into utter violence. The top two contenders in today's elections are the deputy president, William Ruto, and veteran opposition leader, Raila Odinga. Both Odinga and Ruto have called for a peaceful vote. However, there are fears of chaos if the losing candidate challenges the outcome. More than 150,000 officers have been deployed to ensure security and both the candidates have vowed to get the economy back on its feet. They have also vowed to tackle corruption and this is what the citizens of Kenya have to say about the elections. Change your our country now is just full of corruption. Once someone will come and deal with that issue prominently. Yeah. Actually, I'm expecting more change because all along we have been uh, doing elections, but we don't see, we get promises, but we don't see any, any progress. So I hope this time it will be more better and we'll have a better change in our lives. And now let's go across to my colleague Eric Joka, who will tell us about the contenders in the Kenya election and their big campaign promises. Over to you, Eric. Thank you very much, Priyanka. And indeed, it is D-Day for Kenyans as some of the registered voters went to the polling stations as early as 5 a.m. local time. Voting officially began at 6 a.m. local time, and from the looks of it, thousands have turned out to cast their ballots. So who is going to succeed the incumbent Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta and take the reins of one of Africa's vibrant democracies? The contenders are William Samoei Ruto, who heads the Kenya Kwanzaa or Kenya First Alliance and is the current deputy president. The 55-year-old Ruto has pledged to boost spending for small farmers and private businesses and reform national health insurance and social security funds. The second contender is Raila Amolo Odinga, who is running for president under the Azimio La Umoja, or Declaration of Unity Alliance, which includes Kenyatta's Jubilee Party. Odinga has pledged to stamp out widespread graft and give a monthly stipend to the unemployed, universal health care, and free education to all. The third contender is George Wajakoya, who describes himself as a lawyer, academic, and former spy, and is running under the Roots Party of Kenya, Bana. He pledges to legalize, get this, cultivating marijuana for industrial and medicinal use and export hyena testicles and snake venom to help pay Kenya's external public debt. And lastly, David Mwaure Waihiga, a bishop and lawyer running on the Agano Party of Kenya ticket. He has pledged to tackle government graft and publish the government contracts for major infrastructure projects, such as railways, ports, and highways. Kenya's presidential candidates have been campaigning ahead of elections, and there have been misleading allegations made about their qualification to stand. TikTok is one of the most popular social media platforms among young voters, but its role in Kenya's heated presidential race is going relatively unscrutinized. Recently, the ethnic watchdog did threaten to shut down Facebook over claims of disinformation being spread online. Although there are signs this may not now be changing in Kenya, ethnic identity has been used to grant privileges. Sometimes it's the only qualification considered for a job, a vote in the election, or even in accessing mundane favors from someone in a position of authority. Currently, only 8 million registered voters, about a third of the total 20, 20, 22 million, are aged 18 to 35, reflecting an increasing level of apathy about governance and elections among young people and potential voters. The list of challenges is endless, but the country of a population of over 55 million people are hopeful that their new fifth president 
will bring some form of change or even reform the country badly battered by the pandemic. Polling closes at 6 p.m. East African time and the results are expected in a day or two. Priyanka, over to you. Right, Eric, thanks so much for summing that up for us. We'll, of course, on Beyond continue to track all the polling as it gets underway in Kenya. We'll bring in the results also on the channel. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.